Well, we're back by popular demand. We have had a lot of requests to add a couple of more candidates to our series here at SteveDace.com, known as Fatal Flaws. And what this series intends to do is to take a look at all of the potential Republican presidential candidates in the 2012 Iowa caucuses from the perspective of their weaknesses instead of their strengths. Why their weaknesses? Well, because I'm just that kind of guy. Well, aside from that, it's also because who does the best job of overcoming their weaknesses is usually who ends up emerging the victor. All of these candidates have strengths, but who does the best job of both covering and overcoming their weaknesses and exploiting the weaknesses of their opponents is more than likely going to be the one that emerges victorious come February of 2012 in Iowa's First in the Nation caucuses. Now, two candidates that were left out of our original series, but since we recorded those videos, have since indicated that they're serious about contending in the Iowa caucuses, are Judge Roy Moore and Donald Trump. So for the next couple of days, we're going to add each of them their own video here at SteveDace.com. Let's begin with former Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court, Judge Roy Moore. Now, a lot of you, of course, know him as the Ten Commandments judge. He was the judge that refused to buckle to pressure from not the Democrats, but from the Bush administration and other top-level Republicans who told him that you must remove that Ten Commandments monument from your Supreme Court there in Alabama. He refused to do so. It ultimately cost him his job, but he's been a hero to a lot of people who believe in the founding vision of this country ever since. So you would think that would be a strength, but I also believe that for Judge Roy Moore here in the Iowa caucuses, it is potentially his fatal flaw. A lot of times in Hollywood, you know, actors are hesitant about taking certain roles. And the reason why is because they think, you know, the character or the role I'm going to play is so iconic that it will define me the rest of my career and people are only going to see me as that character. That can also happen in politics. And while Judge Roy Moore is certainly a heroic figure for the stance he took on behalf of the natural law, the truth, and the word of God, it also means that he's been typecast to a point. So how does he overcome that? Well, the best way to overcome that is to embrace being Judge Roy Moore, the Ten Commandments judge. But not to embrace it in a way that that's all you are, is Judge Roy Moore, the Ten Commandments judge. If you don't do that, then that's all people will see you as. And the reality is that more people are going to vote based on their pocketbook in this election than on those other issues that people like me find Judge Roy Moore to be a hero for his stance on. So the best way for Judge Roy Moore to overcome that is to apply those same principles to those other issues. Judge Roy Moore needs to show the same boldness and courage of conviction on those kitchen table issues as he showed on those moral and philosophical ones. If he does not, people will do what they did at his recent gubernatorial primary in Alabama when he finished well behind the leader. And that is, they will applaud him for his moral certainty, they will thank him for the inspiration and the stances he has taken and the example that he has set for others, but they will not see him as a chief executive. You cannot run for chief justice of America via the presidency. The presidency is a different animal. You must show that you can lead. You must show, in Judge Roy Moore's case, he must show that he can amass some form of a competent staff, that he can raise some semblance of the money it takes to actually win. And by showing that he can do that, he'll go a long way toward showing that he's not just the Chief Justice of Alabama, but that maybe he's a President of the United States. Thanks for joining us here at SteveDace.com. Don't forget to email me, Steve at SteveDace.com. Also check us out on Facebook at Steve Dace and Steve underscore Dace on Twitter. God bless.